the taller fighter. For those of you with color sets in blue trunks, and Frazier, the shorter, stockier man in the black trunks with the yellow trim. Foster's task, the task of any man fighting Joe Frazier, to stay away. It's a hard thing to do because Frazier is constantly boring in. More and more these days, he's being likened to the late Rocky Marciano. Crunching power in either hand, but Foster himself a good puncher. Foster will try to keep distance using that left in occasional combinations with the right. Joe with a right to the midsection. Foster using that left with reasonable effectiveness thus far and trying to keep his distance. Frazier weighed in at 209. Foster at 188, but Yancey Durham, Frazier's manager, said the scales were five pounds over. Either way, Joe enjoys a 21-pound weight advantage. Enormous advantage for a fighter so skilled as Frazier and so powerful. Left by Frazier to the side of Foster's jaw, right side. But Bob still keeping his distance. The history of Frazier as a fighter shows that he is never at his best in the first round. Ellis won the first round against him, and so did Jerry Clark. Trying to stay away. Frazier always pursuing. They're in round one. We saw the left to the side of Foster's head. But on balance, Foster has had reasonable effectiveness in this round. thought Joe hurt Foster there, but he didn't really. You see Bob using the left well. We have 30 seconds left in this. The first round. Frazier, the shorter man. Black trunks, yellow twin. That's what Foster must not allow to happen. He mustn't try to slug with Frazier and get caught in the corner. There was a good left by Joe. Approaching the end of round one, and we'll be back with round two in just one moment. We await the start of round two. Joe Frazier, you're looking at him there. He's on the right of your screen against Bob Foster. Frazier always in pursuit, and you saw that left hook. That's the crunching power of Joe Frazier. And Foster is down for the first time in this fight. Remember, he's 21 pounds less than Frazier. Doesn't begin to have Frazier's strength and power. He was staggering. Now he's holding on. Bent over. Frazier is quickly after him. That's the left hook. And that does it. One need wait no further as the count proceeds. Joe Frazier has quickly done away with Bob Foster and successfully defended his heavyweight championship of the world. The official time, 49 seconds of round two. Let's replay this round and take a look at it all over again. Keep looking for the Frazier left. Watch it. There it is, the first knockdown, that quick left hook. Frazier has learned how to punch short and with devastating power. Look at Foster. You could tell he was beaten there. Nothing left, just fighting on nerve alone. The development of Frazier has been a sensational thing by everybody's precepts. A truly outstanding fighter. That was the second left hook right there. And that was the end of Foster. Let's look at these in slow motion. Knockdown number one, this will be. Watch for the left hook now. That was it. Perfectly clear. 
Now watch for the knockout left hook. First to right. Let's take a last look at that final left hook that ended the bout in isolation. Different angle. Oh, best angle yet. You saw it. It's somehow a miracle that Foster got up even at the end of a minute. No light heavyweight you know has ever beaten a heavyweight in a championship bout. And in truth, based upon the weight differential and the awesome power of Frazier, Foster never had a chance.